Welcome back guys. This is going to be a short video on polar body. So what is polar body? I get this question from many of my students. Now polar body is uh, obviously a part of female reproductive system. It's, a, it's among the female reproductive system. So actually during the formation of female gamete, right? During the formation of that female gamete which is also called as egg, during those gametogenesis process, it requires mitosis and meiosis, right? Majorly, it requires meiosis to occur. And meiosis is divided into two different sections, meiosis 1 and meiosis 2. So, let me write. So, during uh, female gametogenesis, female gametogenesis or egg formation time, during egg formation, we are what we are having during egg formation we need to have meiosis division right and this meiosis division is having two division meiotic 1 and meiotic 2 if you remember if you don't know about the gametogenesis process in details it's fine still you can understand the process if you want to know this process you can go back to my youtube channel you will find a separate video on gametogenesis of male and female just look at it and then come back to this video but actually normally meiosis division is divided into two part meiosis one meiotic two okay so normally in meiotic one division when meiotic one division is kind of uh, going on so it's simply meiotic one means it's a division like like normal kind of it's, it's a differentiating so if you are having 22 chromosomes in meiotic one it will be half of the number of chromosomes so in meiotic one always the chromosome number becomes half but second meiotic division is just like remember i've already always told that second music meiotic division is just like mitosis right simple now what happens it actually in meiotic one division uh, it in this process if I draw this egg, or uh, egg is not actually formed during the formation, it is having their own chromosome. Now, cell division during this meiotic division, right? In first meiotic division, what happens? The transfer of chromosome occurs, but the sharing of cytoplasm is always unequal. Remember, always the sharing of cytoplasm during the cell division of female gamete production. Uh, is always unequal as it is unequal in nature so let me draw what happens actually two important segments start to form one short segment after at the end of the cell division meiotic one meiotic one here okay so chromosomes let me draw chromosomes here so chromosomes are uh, already there chromosomes are here also so chromosome sharing is kind of maintained just like the process of meiosis but sharing of cytoplasm sharing of cytoplasm is unequal so the sharing here is unequal in nature so what it results it produces after all one large cell with m most of the cytoplasm and one small cell with very less cytoplasm right now those small cells having very less cytoplasm are called as polar body it is called as polar body and this is called polar body 1 or first polar body after the meiotic 1 now after the meiotic 2 same thing happens and it again produces a large cell and a small cell and this second small cell here it's called as second polar body second polar body and it produces finally the egg because it is having the desired n number of chromosome in it okay so this is meiotic 2 so these are called polar bodies guys so no confusion this is also generated during the gametogenesis of female right the production of egg right now during this process after meiotic 1 sharing of uh, cytoplasm is unequal produces a large cell and a small cell that small cell is called polar body 1 during the second meiotic division again unequal sharing of cytoplasm a large cell which is called egg having n number of chromosome and a small section or small cell called second polar body so that's it guys no rocket science that's it